could marry whatever you wish to, in order for you to, to be just with the orphans, then marry two and three and four. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So this, that's one interpretation. The other interpretation as well, which is again, now they said as well, even for those girls who doesn't have, for example, someone to look after them, to marry them as well. That's another point. But the concept... So, so what does that say, say that? This is, again, that's interpretation of some of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. Now, later on, here it talks about this verse, it talks about generally that, the, uh, the jawaz, which means allowing to marry more than one wife, generally. So it's allowed to be to marry more than one wife, and is that... Can okay, you show me, please? The one you're talking about, the verse that refers to, to that one. one. The same and, and, another, and not another reference to a marry more than one wife. Because I, I believe that when I read, that's the only place I found. Yeah, that because, because, because you wife. just you just read the Quran and you just ignore no, no, everything. No, 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 listen, listen brother. I, I, yeah. You are making an accusation which is unfound. No, no, I, I, I'm I, saying to you, I, I, said I you read, of course, in the I'm Quran, saying, there is no other place about allowing too many more than one. In yes. the Quran. That's why we go back to the Hadith. This is the understanding of you. That's why you say the Quran is not just only alone here. Here, this ayah is about this incident. Now, the interpretation of it, I gave you why, what's yeah, the purpose yeah. of it. Now, the other thing, this ayah, the understanding of this ayah, when Allah allows something, regardless for that purpose or without that purpose, Allah allowed it. You understand? When Allah allowed this, for example, there is, there are some other. No, no, that's that's I'll, I'll, okay, okay. Then why don't no, you become no, a Muslim? Yeah. No, no. So I, I, I'll you let continue. Say, then I'll refer you to cannot that. Say, I'll come back. You cannot tell me as a Muslim what you do. That, you know, because what we have, we go reference in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's how we get side by side. Now, the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It was the norm. The polygamy, it was the norm in the Arab Peninsula. It was norm. It's not something which is, was introduced in Islam. Do you understand that point? Yeah. Think about it. Polygamy is not it something in introduced thing. in Islam. Polygamy was always allowed in the Arab Peninsula. It was the norm. The norm of the people, they will have more than one, one wife. It was the norm. Yeah? But Islam restricts the number to four. Yeah? Islam restricts the number to four. Yeah? So that's why here, when Islam restricted the number to four, that's to show us this is the maximum that you could get. And here in this verse means the preference, if you want to make advantage of your marriage, then marry someone who is who has orphans to look after them. That's this is the meaning of the ayah. You understand? So the meaning of the ayah, the polygamy, was something known in the Arab Peninsula. People they used to marry, always. But Allah says here, in order to be just and be good to the orphans, then marry their mothers to look after them. Because you're going to be looking after them. There's no one to look after them except you. Then do this. This is kind of God is saying the preference. You understand? It doesn't dictate them is only under that condition. Because Allah says, they didn't say here, again, your lack of Arabic language again, and anyone. They don't understand. There are terms in the Quran to say restricted as a condition. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. No, there is. Yeah. There are things that are forbidden. That are condition, are conditional. Conditional. You cannot do it you without this. Do yeah. Forbidden yeah. And so, and there are things which is not conditional, but preference. preference. So Allah is saying here the yeah. preference to marry the mothers of those orphans in order to look after them. This is a preference because it was already the polygamy here, and Allah here in this verse restricted the number to be down to four. Because so many of used to marry ten and twelve and eleven, whatever. Yeah, then restricted the number to four. The case of the Prophet ﷺ, which is, I think, I assume you wanted to ask, but why Muhammad ﷺ married 11? Why he married 11 more than four? Why he's not included in this? Because the, some men came to him, and he, one man came to him, and he was married eight women. Then he said to him, you have to divorce four and keep only four. And another man came to him, he was married six. He said to him, divorce two and keep only four. Why is it was in the case for him, alayhi salatu wasalam? Now here, that's what we said, we said to you, the Isma is after revelation, he will not make mistakes. He was married these women before this verse, firstly. And if and uh, his wives, the wives of the Prophet sallallahu his wives, all of them, that they are not allowed to marry anyone else because Allah made them the mothers of the believers for a reason. So the mothers so of the... Can, can, can I tell you, you said, you said that... Um, the other wives of the Prophet ﷺ. The, the revelation came, came 
came uh, after, after, after he was married. After, after he was, he was married. married. Yes. But the, the, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be... But the thing is that the verse in the Quran was already there. No. So no, no, no. He's saying that verse, that of, verse, polygamy, this verse of polygamy came about, to a to point to four, where he was already married. To restrict them to four, he was already married. He was already has the number of the wives. Now what happened to them? If he divorces them, they are, Allah already decided about the, the wives of the Prophet no, to, to be the mothers of the believers. They are like our own mothers. You understand? And the purpose that they are like our own mothers in order for us after the death of the Prophet or while he was alive, that when, when I wanted to learn from them, I will go to them easily and I will come and sit and understand from them. Why? Because they are like our mothers. Because Allah made them, they make, they make them mothers and they, have, they are more beloved to us than our own mothers. You understand? So because of this, they cannot marry any of the Muslims after that. They cannot marry anyone after the Prophet And if he divorces them, this will harm them. They have no husband to look after them. They have, and, they, and they are normal human beings. So Allah made the, Allah exclude them from this. So there are some, some ruling which is related to the Prophet himself, which is not allowed for others. For example, one of his ruling that he is entitled to fast. We fast from sunrise to sunset. He used to fast. 24 hours and that's his own ruling he is obliged to to do the night prayer and us we're not obliged it's voluntary for us to do the night prayer or not he is obliged to do it until his death he is obliged if he if he did sunnah one day if he did two rakah he is obliged to do it all until the end of his life we are not obliged to do that so he has a ruling which is which fits him exclusive to him and it's not for us and including this, that's because of it harms them. If the Prophet divorces them, then it harms them. So Allah has excluded them from this ruling that Allah, he is entitled to keep the, his wives until his death, alayhi salatu wasalam, and, and the other people they have to read. And you know, the, the question is, you know the amazing thing, the Sahaba, they never questioned this. They never thought about injustice. Why? Because they knew it will be injustice for them if he divorces them. You understand? I understand that. Okay, um, good. The, 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 but the, the, the question still, uh, the question regarding how that is actually handled. For the One second, let, let the you finish off. From the, 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 the conditions, oh. yeah. which are placed yeah, we're going, we're going. in the, the conditions for marriage for wives. Because yes. when you say that, okay, no. Okay. Oh, cheers. Okay. They're coming. They're coming. When you talk about the conditions.